Good day everyone. Today I want to introduce to you the days of the week in Ukrainian. Uh, due to the some grammar rules, I was not introducing to you them before, but now I think it's the right time for me to introduce to you the days of the week. So let's begin. Uh, the first uh, day of the week in Ukrainian is Monday, and uh, it's considered to be a uh, the hardest day to begin the work from uh, so and there are a lot of jokes about that so Monday in Ukrainian is Ponedilok Monday Ponedilok next day is Tuesday so Tuesday in Ukrainian is Vivtorok Tuesday Vivtorok and the third day of the week is Wednesday Wednesday in Ukrainian is Sereda Wednesday, Sereda. The next day is Thursday. It's in Ukrainian, Chetver. Thursday, Chetver. After Thursday is the best day of the week. It's Friday. I think it's internationally the best day because when it's the working day is finished, everyone is happy. So, Friday in Ukrainian is Pyatnitsya. Friday, Pyatnitsya. After Friday uh, is Saturday, so Saturday in Ukrainian is uh, Subota. Saturday, Subota. And also uh, the best day of the week, uh, Sunday, it's in Ukrainian is Negilia. Sunday is Negilia. Further, I want to introduce you the phrases with prepositions uh, which apply the days of the week. And uh, usually we use such kind of phrases as on Monday, on Friday, and etc. the same way. So, let's begin. On Monday, in Ukrainian, will be U Ponedilok. U Ponedilok. On Tuesday, in Ukrainian, it will be U Vivtorok. U Vivtorok. On Wednesday, is U Seredu. U Seredu. As you see here, uh, the ending is changed. As you see here, the ending is changed from A to U. Next will be on Thursday, U Chetver. U Chetver. On Friday will be U Pyatnitsu. U Pyatnitsu. And you see again here the ending changes from A to U. On Saturday, uh, will be u subotu, u subotu. Ending here changes again. On Sunday will be u negilu, u negilu. And again here the ending changes. Why ending changes? Because words like sereda, negilia, or subota, or piatnitsa are feminines. And if feminine noun ends in a. Uh, with the preposition, it will end in U, and if it ends in Ya, like Negilia, uh, the ending will be U with the preposition. So the rule is very simple here. Now I want to give you several sentences in Ukrainian which I would like you to translate into English or into your native language. So let's begin. U Pyatnitsu, ya idu na vechirku. U piatnitsu ya idu na vechirku. U subotu ya zustriu jona. U seredu ya ne idu na robotu. U ponedilok ya ne budu ite v teater. So please try to translate these sentences and if you have any questions, comments or doubts, feel free to contact me or write a comment.